Now let me ask you women a question. Why do you continue to stay in a religion that looks at you as being inferior and second class? That looks at you as being weak? Why do you stay in that church? Why do you bow your head and say, Amen, when inside you're just angry as all get out? Some of you do it because your church is the only thing you know. You don't know of anything else out there. And so you stay in your churches. Other women stay in your churches because you're just afraid. You're afraid that Jehovah is actually real and that there is a real hellfire and brimstone. That you will be separated from your family forever and ever and ever. And then there are other women who stay in the Christian church absolutely convinced that they can change the Christian faith from the inside. And I'm here to tell you that just simply does not work. Christianity has seen a thousand reformers come and go. And all they have ever managed to do is to muddy up the water. No matter what concession you get from a preacher or a church, it can be overruled by the statements of the Bible. The Bible is the final authority in the Christian church. It doesn't matter what the denomination is. The Bible is the final authority. You cannot reform the Christian faith. The Christian faith must be abandoned. You must get up and walk away from it. Christianity is the land of your captivity. And if you want to be free, if you really want to be free enough to know your Heavenly Father and your Heavenly Mother, if you want to be free to know yourself, if you want to be free to know what your life is about, then you must get up and leave. But that can be hard. That can be frightful. Because it is an old tradition, the Christian faith. It has been around for 2,000 years. And it haunts you. It frightens you. Your Heavenly Father is very much aware of that. In fact, your Heavenly Father addresses that problem in the Song of God. I'm going to read to you from the Song of God and you can listen to what your Heavenly Father has to say about traditions. Now keep in mind, there are good traditions and then there are bad ones. You always want to keep good traditions. Those are the tr traditions that make you happy. Those are the traditions that give you meaning. They give you purpose. Uh, they're fun. And then there are bad traditions. Traditions which fill you with shame, fear, guilt, remorse. Those are the traditions you don't need. Listen to what your Heavenly Father is saying about traditions. It is tradition only which would keep from you the prize of greatest worth. For in some traditions do we find a harsh and bitter master, which would but hold us in some firm and narrow fashion causing that we should prove ourselves unable to see or hear or taste or touch or move about in light and joy and happy life for the fear of such traditions as do hedge up the way against us. For if we should think to reach beyond the darkness of ages past, then will the bitter voice of this tradition or that tradition lay strong hold upon the mind to pull us back into the dungeons of despair and sorrow of which there is no end except to the one who can break in pieces the chains which strongly bind. Now, I want you to know something. After your Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother asked me to write this Song of God, they asked me to do three other things. They asked me to teach you, to defend you, and to set you free. I am the one who is strong enough to break the chains of this bad tradition and to lead you to your Heavenly Father and your Heavenly Mother. That is the place you wish to go. But it is a risk. Everything in life is risk. Your Heavenly Father said something else that's very interesting. I'll just quote it for you. It's also found in the Song of God. 
And I want you to consider it for a moment. This is what your Heavenly Father said. Life is risk. And she who risks nothing, gains nothing, is nothing. There is always a risk in going from one place to another. But in this instant, I think you will find the risk well worth it. I know that many of you have broken your heart and mind and soul upon the rocks of the Christian faith. You're looking for a place to come. So I invite you to come find me.